In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly use oil immersion. I'm going to start with a slide that requires oil immersion. This is a slide of Giardia. Giardia is incredibly small, so you have to use the highest magnification here. And the highest objective lens we have is this one right here. That's 100 times magnification. When you add it to the eyepiece, which is 10 times magnification, that makes a 1,000 times magnification uh, image. In order to properly focus down to that high magnification, you still have to follow all of the safe microscope practices so that you don't break the slide. I'm gonna start out first with this scanning power, which is four times. So I'm viewing it at 40 times magnification if you multiply this times the eyepiece. And you are not gonna be able to see Giardia at all under this magnification, however, when you have it set here, you can use your course adjustment and make sure that you bring the slide up to the proper plane where you're actually focused on the two-dimensional space that these organisms are found on. Otherwise, if you immediately rush to one of these higher magnifications, the chances that you're actually going to find the proper plane is just uh, really difficult. So I recommend starting out with the scanning uh, power just so that you can Focus up to the proper plane. At that point, you can then switch to the 10 times objective. Again, 10 times the eyepiece is also 10 times, so these make 100 times magnification. At this point, if you're very good, you'll be able to spot the teardrop-shaped Giardia. Most of you won't be able to do that, though. So at this point, you want to use your fine focus to just make sure that you're focused in on the proper plane. So if it's slightly blurry, you would be using your fine focus here. And from this point on, you're only going to use your fine focus. Now I'm going to switch to the next objective lens. This is a 40 times objective. So my total magnification is 400 times. Again, I'm using my fine focus just to make sure that I'm still in the proper plane. And I'm going to move my little critter right here into the very center of my frame. So here is where the oil immersion comes in. Under this current magnification, we're pretty close to the limit of what we can see if there is an airspace between the lens and the slide. If we're gonna go to a higher magnification, we actually have to place oil in the way of the lens and the slide so that we can essentially move the air out of the space. This will allow us to have a sharper image if we're at higher magnification. Moving to that oil immersion magnification, what we're gonna do is move this so that we are now opening that space. And I'm gonna use my oil here. And I just need a very small drop, just like that. And I'm trying to be very gentle about it. That's all we need. Now I can continue to rotate the oil objective, the 100 times objective, into place. Again, 100 times uh, multiplied by the eyepiece, which is 10 times, that is now at 1,000 times magnification. And I can use my fine adjustment to bring this specimen into focus. GRD in particular is super small. So you have to be very careful using that fine adjustment. You may also wish to use the light to bring a greater amount of light through the scope or actually turn it down if it, 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 as the case may be. And also to adjust the iris underneath so that we can tune it just right to see the image. And if you do that, you're gonna be able to see the image as clearly as possible under oil immersion.